Good morning, folks. The record cold breaks continue. A few days ago, the lowest ever recorded max temperature for Death Valley of that day was 104 degrees, but it was broken by 15, never got above 89 degrees Fahrenheit. The records continue to fall across the world, including these coming in from the Bureau of Meteorology down under. Top precipitation news is the large sinkhole that opened up in North Carolina. Local whitewater seekers are enthused. Updating our report on the Kepler mission, it's had its struggles but is operating fairly well for a busted satellite. Story linked for you below. So we're in the Atlantic, and I know this doesn't look like much, but neither did Bertha for about four days before becoming a hurricane. Add to that the nearby earthquake, again, and it's got tropical development written all over it. Moving to the central Pacific, where Julio is just north of Hawaii, the rain event shall be it as the system should remain north for the duration. A long remnant sliding northwest while Genevieve is begging for some company heading north here. Look at this earth spot situation. Beta Gamma, anybody? The convergence indeed shifted eastward down under over New Zealand, but it looks like the system isn't too bad. Love to get some weather shares on this in the comments section, guys. The same low as the story in Europe, and look at how hooked the convergence line is, even extending back 180 degrees from where it comes off of the low. Impressive. The convergences are weak in the U.S., nothing severe expected, but we do see extra moisture added from the Atlantic flows in a westward direction, and convergences will settle into the east tonight and create a fair amount of downpours throughout these areas. Space weather. Starting with the first gamma ray burst in about 10 days, came out of the Aquila constellation. Looking back four days ago at some of the coronal holes, the dark parts, last night we saw a moderate impact from those openings. What made this challenging to diagnose is right after the density drop and speed rise, which we expect, there was a secondary surge to the speed and the density crept back up. However, down below, the plasma temperature in green matches the speed patterns, and that's the coronal hole. When temperature matches density, it's usually the CME. Either way, the shield handled it fairly well, just some minor instability as the wave crested, but no geomagnetic storm. As that coronal hole departs on the bottom right, we see the openings that we eyed yesterday, the southern polar extension and the two weak ones at low latitude. The force hasn't changed much. The northern positive openings are of little force, while the negative opening to the south is very strong. Solar flaring continues its downward slide. We are all recognizing these patterns of weakness, right? The sunspots are small or decay or fail to flare even if they get complex. Remember yesterday we did see evidence of an incoming region to the north and this morning we can definitively see it here on the disk. Good luck little man, you'll need it. Minneapolis event was a little rainy last night. We're not far away tonight in St. Clair. Check observatoryproject.com to see when we're in your area. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.